This is a federal government laboratory. Okay. And uh, we're guests at this lab. Uh, we're a nonprofit, OceanWise. We're part of the Vancouver Aquarium family. Come on in. Plastic is everywhere. So there are five or six categories of microplastics. There are fibers, uh, fragments, uh, spheres, uh, you know, sheets, polystyrene. So we have a number of different categories we can start with. What is the most pervasive type of plastic that you see? In wastewater treatment plant samples, uh, about 70% of what we see uh, in the microplastic area of you know, one nanometer to five millimeters are fibers. All of our work would tend to suggest that clothing, home laundry, the domestic wastewater stream is a really important conduit to uh, delivering these to the ocean. And is that after the treatment or before? After the treatment. They can treat of almost 95 to 97 percent of the uh, solids, okay. but the other five percent will still go into the ocean. Mm -hmm. These are what we call secondary microplastics. They've fragmented or broken down from a parent product. Uh, with one exception, you'll notice these perfectly spherical little items like this one here. Is that like in shampoos, the micro it's a microbead? So the microbead has been banned nationally in the US and in Canada, but we still see a lot, uh, probably remnant supply in households around the city. It's scary how pervasive it has become in the oceans. Because we as a company can't solve it ourselves. The solutions aren't always easy and it requires people to change their behavior a little bit. It requires some additional regulation. It requires businesses to innovate. All of those things have to come together if we're gonna solve this thing.